Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have an electric lawnmower here uh, not a robot but one of the ones that you have to push uh, even if um, it's probably not a big deal because electric is very lightweight this one uh, belongs to my uh, mechanic and uh, he uh, mentioned that it was uh, broken and as I like to play around with batteries I um, I promise to have a look at it and it's very it's a very good idea to be good friends with your mechanic you never know when you're gonna need that so uh, it comes with a charger here is the charger and there is 220 volts into this it's a black and decker 36 volt lawnmower and there's three batteries with it and the first thing that I noticed was that there is a push button but it doesn't seem to be any power on the batteries and that's definitely an issue so yeah we probably have to start and see if it does any charging which I expect it does not I found a funny feature look how far down it is and then you and it goes even further so up and down um, I don't know if there's a model number on this anywhere but yeah it hasn't been cleaned lately so yeah I'll find some power and we'll see if the battery charges power let's connect the charger there is a blinkity light and there is an explanation of what the blinkity light does I'm not expecting this to work uh, there's definitely no power on that one. Huh? Does that go down even? It feels very wrong. Ah. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'll just try all of them. Okay, so we have an issue with the batteries for sure. These are 36 volt, 2 amps, black and decker, lithium ion batteries. So, yeah, I think we, uh, we can go to the basement and see if we can figure this out. We have moved into the basement, so the first thing we need to make sure that the charger charges or if there's any power on it mm, which is a little bit uh, there's a lot of contacts here uh, I think yeah there's a number of contacts up here and a number of contacts down there and which one charges I guess we could uh, just connect it and measure uh, it's as if there is nothing in this it's there can't be much in there. I see that the batteries are from 2017. So they are five years old. Let's see if that's the same also 2017. And oh, 2020. So a newer battery. So maybe there has been an issue with some of the batteries. So let's measure here. Uh, I would expect that, hmm, that's just, oh, there's actually 32 volts there, and the batteries are 36 volts, so that's a bit low. Then there's the front and the back contact, so if we miss your this, let's see, there's I expect that the front and the back contacts are are the same. So let's beep it. Oh, beep. Beep. 
Okay, so there's a roll of contacts on one side and a roll of contacts on the other side, and it's probably just to get a better connection. So that part is is okay. Okay, so uh, the voltage is a bit low. Let's check the battery. Maybe uh, we can see the same thing here. There's contacts on both sides, and then there's at the end here there is the main contacts and that's minus and plus and I am expecting a very low voltage there let's see if I'm right where is that that's there and there oh I'm wrong 35.6 volts that should be fine for doing a little bit of mowing. And that one is, oh, it's negative because I put the leads on the wrong way. You have 35 volts. Uh -huh. And 35 volts. So the batteries are all fine, or at least high voltage, but if you want to check if there's power on them, that's a no-go, that's a mystery. Yeah, I think we need to take one of these apart and check what's inside. So they have used security torques and there is four screws. One, two, three, four. There's one in the middle that I haven't taken out yet. They have um, they put another size of security torch in there. It's 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 one number smaller. So, but here we have the battery pack, and I think I need to take that out. So that's the very smallest one I have. Let's use that. Another screw, that, and then the pack comes out. And here we have the BMS, and we have the. Hmm. And we have the batteries. And it's it's one long pack, so I can kind of measure the individual cells here and check if they're balanced and stuff so I think we'll we'll try that and drop those that was on purpose <clears throat> let's see 2.5, 2.5, they're perfect ish so nothing wrong here so why is it not hmm why is it not doing anything so I really see no reason why this isn't working I'm a little bit worried because there's a lot of electronic on that board so but right now I'm just bypassing everything and I'm trying to to charge the battery up from the 35 volts and the power supply up here is, is is at 38 volts and right now we're doing that with about two amps and the amps are going down now so it has reached the voltage but it's still able to push in some amps so I'm gonna wait for that to come up to 38 volts and we'll see if that does any change I don't know why it should but well, I have to try and start somewhere, so that's what we're gonna try. So while that is charging up, I took the power supply apart and I was wrong. There is something in here, but it's so lightweight. Uh, it's incredible how, how, little this, how little this weighs. And there are some chips here that has been very, very warm. And they are just at the output ports. So there is a decent chance that this is, has been fried. I want to take the, the circuit board out of here. There's a couple of two screws more. 
Yeah, you can kind of see the brown color here. It's very hot, very difficult to hide that. And on the opposite side, there is those two chips, whereas the top one has definitely been warm. So, yeah, might just be a diode or something. It's could be. Difficult to see when that's in focus, but yeah. Okay, I have, um, well, had it through the other magnifying glass and this is a, a 564J and that one is a um, P-channel MOSFET and it's widely available on, um, on AliExpress and it costs just two cents for that thing. And it, that one has been very, very warm. So I could probably go and replace that. I'm not sure, the whole thing might need a bit of replacement. Um, oh, yeah, the well pump. Okay. So in the meanwhile, this has been charging for a little bit. So let's see if, my, if I'm right. Yep, battery is good. The charger is bad, so batteries just need to be charged up to full capacity and then the lawnmower will be good to go. I, I think I'll, I'll do that. So the cells should be good for 42 volts, 10 cells, there, oh yeah, I've charged it a little bit. It's not fully charged yet, even if it says it's fully charged, it's it's not. So uh, I'm gonna put it back together. The battery does not, has no errors. It's the charger that has the error. So I think I might as well. I think I'm gonna recommend uh, my mechanic to get a new charger for it instead of me fixing this one because I don't like that brown color on it. It looks like something that has been very close to catching fire. Uh, even if I don't think that circuit board burns very easily. But yeah, I don't know. I'm charging the next one a little bit. I'm gonna charge all of them up and make sure that they work in the lawnmower out there. And I'm sure he's gonna be happy to have them fully charged when, when he gets them back, now that he has to go and buy a new charger for it. Okay, I'm almost done charging all three batteries. At least uh, two of them should be very good by now. So you can see right now there is, it's charging up to about 42 volts and there is only, 400 milliamp oh there's only 40 milliamps going in but that is 1.68 watts so i would say this one is good to go i'm just gonna try the first one again make sure that uh, how much that is gonna take oh well, that seems it can take a little bit more uh, it drops rather fast it's down to 200 milliamps uh, eight watts. So yeah, it, they are just about charged up. I am gonna take some pictures of these diode things so that I can show the mechanic what's, what's going on. So now all of them are taking in a very minimum amount of power, which means that they're almost full. So this one, mm, just under three watts. Uh, one in the middle here. That's, that's 1.23 watts, 6 watts, and this one, add a little bit more, 4 watts, 3 watts, 90 milliamps. Yeah, I think it's, um, it's close enough so that we can say that these are charged. So let's try them out. 
and now the electronic also works here, so uh, yeah, green lights all across the board. Ah. 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 Opens up like that. Now let's just put the first battery in. Really weird way to uh, turn this on. There is like, first, <laughs> there's a key which I am pretty sure is just a short circuit, but that needs to be in. And then you press this one first. You can, you can do this and then nothing happens. But you have to press this one and then it. Pretty clear to hear that the lawnmower is running. And luckily, I have some tall grass. Works better if we give it something to cut. Let's try that again. sure that all three batteries are good to go. Actually, in the middle of um, improving my lawn here, so I've been, I've been tilling some of it up. So I just, well, I could go <laughs> mow that piece of the lawn. But yeah, I would say that we found the problem on this uh, lawnmower is the charger. All the batteries are perfectly fine. The lawnmower is perfectly fine, and I came across something uh, funny when I, uh, when I searched on these on YouTube. I was hoping to find what was wrong with these batteries and there was not one single video with people having problems with these Black & Decker 36 volt. Well, in Europe they are 36 volts, in America they are 40 volts. Just so that you know, if you are looking for these batteries in America, they will be advertised as 40 volts and here in Europe they are 36 volts. So. Um, Apparently these batteries might actually be pretty good as no one has made a video on repairing them and uh, Yeah, and when I measured the cells in there, they were perfectly balanced Which was a big surprise to me after that this battery has been sitting for quite a while and not being charged up I was told that the mechanic had gotten a replacement for his lawnmower because uh, He thought the batteries or the lawnmower was dead. It's just a charger um, they cost about $80 for a new charger, so yeah, it's it's pricey, but yeah. I thought this would be a video on fixing the batteries. Turned out that the batteries was perfectly fine, and it's the charger that needs fixing. I did find that 564J uh, MOSFET, and I've ordered 10 of them for the ridiculous amount of $2.5. They will be here in a couple of months, so maybe at that point I'll replace. There was actually two on that circuit board, uh, so I might just replace both of them. But until then, I'm gonna hand the lawnmower back to the mechanic because I have enough stuff sitting around here. But um, I hope um, you got something out of this video as well, even though I didn't really fix anything, I just found the problem. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again, and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.